Hello everyone. Welcome to VA Tech Talks. In this video, we are going to see how to create AWS free tier account. So before going to talk about how to create, so why do we need to create AWS free tier account? Okay, just observe this diagram. So far we have seen MuleSoft with Snowflake, MuleSoft with Azure integration, MuleSoft with ServiceNow integration. There are many things which we have created. So it is there in our channel. I have created separate playlist for integrations. Okay. If you want to know more about Azure, you can go through this playlist. If you want to know more about Snowflake, you can go to this playlist. This is for ServiceNow, like this I have created. Now I'm planning to create one more playlist into our channel with AWS integration, MuleSoft with AWS integration. So if you want to integrate something, we need a account, we need an account. So if you are working in any organization, they are going to provide username and password, but here we are going to practice. We are working in our own system. So that is the reason we need to create username and password and required configurations. So how to create AWS account, we are going to see now. Okay. Before going to talk about AWS free tier account, there is one small observation. See, most of the people were seeing our channel videos, but they are not at subscribed. 60% people who are not as subscribed. Only 40% I can see. If you are not yet subscribed, please do subscribe our channel. And for more updates, click on bell icon. Okay. Also, please do hit a like button so that I'll get some motivation and I'll create more integration videos. Okay. Let's enter into the topic. See how to create AWS free tier account. Okay, it's very simple. In order to create a AWS free tier account, just go to Google and type AWS free tier account. Okay. Just you can click on the very first link. Very first thing. So the page looks like this. So if you have already an account, you can click on sign in or else click on this complete sign up. Okay. Now, so if you have already the details, if you have username and password, you can use this. But in our case, we need to create new account, right? Click on create new AWS account. Okay. This is not you. Okay. Here you need to provide, you need to provide your username. Okay. So what is the username which we are going to use? I am going to use where it is called. Twenty one. Okay, this is my email ID. You can give your email ID. Now, the account name. So which you want to keep it? Okay. V it is call two one two four. Now, just click on this verify email address. So the code. It will send to your email ID. You can open your email and take the code. Okay, this is the code. Okay. Now you need to provide this verification code here and click on verify. Now you need to set up your password.
so you can set up your own password now click on continue okay the password is publicly known we need to change this okay i'll change the password should be very strong it should be like capital letters lower letters special symbols and numbers okay now click on continue see how we are going to use this one i'm going to use it for my personal uses we can provide your details okay so i'm going to keep it as vi tech here and the number the phone number you need to keep so my number is this one and the state or country of region okay india and you can provide your address okay you can provide your address and city and apartment and the state the postal code and everything you can provide and click on this checkbox and click on continue so here you need to provide here you need to provide your credit card information or debit card information and click on verify and continue so that you can able to create your account so i have already created my account okay you can fill these details and click on verify and continue so that the account is going to create so here one thing so you need to provide your credit card or debit card number so it will detect two rupees okay two rupees from your account only two rupees it will detect and again they are going to credit okay again they are going to credit for you okay no need to bother about amount so it's like one year it's a free one year it's a free so no need to pay anything okay let's go here and let me log in click on sign in a root user so my user is it is school 92 at the red gmail.com so here you need to provide your password so after logging into your account you will be able to see this okay see here this is my id so here we do have sign out option if you want you can sign out see these are the options it is available okay these are the options it is available now mainly we are going to concentrate on s3 s3 bucket okay if you want you can search here s3 bucket and uh, database okay s3 bucket and database we are going to concentrate so you can also create your own account and please do comment in a comment section so that i am going to start integration the next video next video how to create s3 bucket and how to store the data and how to retrieve the data and how to read the data from s3 bucket and store it into another database okay this kind of integrations we are going to practice thanks for watching this video happy learning we'll see you in another video